What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Daniel. I hope y'all been taking care of y'all so, man. Hope y'all been practicing what y'all need to practice and working on yourself, dog. Because at the end of the day, that's what y'all really need to be doing, working on yourself. I've been grinding. I hit some low points. I hit some high points. And shit, you just living life, dog. You know, because that's all life about, you know what I'm saying? Hitting your lows, hitting your highs, and just experiencing it all. We on Simmer Attention Day 2 today, you know what I'm saying? We just going to be chilling, you feel me? We going to catch a vibe. Lately, I ain't been on YouTube as much, but I see what y'all been on, so I'm thanking y'all for 70 subscribers. I really appreciate y'all, because y'all keep me going. Y'all give me motivation. Y'all give me ideas. Y'all support me. I love each and every one of y'all, because the support you give me, I give it back to y'all tenfold. You know, we just been working on simple shit like, who are we? Who am I? That's what I've been working on. Asking myself, who am I? Separating, track aside, separating my achievements. Who are you? Who am I? Because if you look at your life from a, a 3D perspective of what you've gotten, what you earned, what accomplishments you have, you're going to pedestalize people at the top that have more than you. And I'm starting to realize, like, that's not the worth of you. Your worth is not determined by your accomplishments, your achievements. Fuck all that. That's in the past. That's, that puts me to my next point. You got to let go. Let go of all that shit you did. Let go of your car, your accomplishments. Because at the end of the day, when you die, you can't take it with you. At the end of the day, when you're on your deathbed, you can't take it with you. Just let go. Because once you learn to let go, then you start realizing, dang, okay, it's an abundance of everything. Abundance mentality is something that comes with letting go. I've been trying to figure out who I am because I've been holding on to my accomplishments. I've been holding on to my achievements. Fuck senior attention. Fuck cars. Fuck money. Fuck all that, bro. Let's, let's just say fuck it off for one second and just look at ourselves as human beings going on a journey because that's really all we is, dog. Take all the other shit to the side. Like, really, I'm trying to make you think, dog, because I just be trying to better myself every day and a lot of the time I'll be by myself. People don't understand me. People don't realize that my intentions be good, you know. A lot of times, people misinterpret what I do. They look at me a certain kind of way because I'm different. People look at me a certain kind of way because I don't fit in the norm. That shit take a toll on your psychological. Your psyche, you take a toll on that shit when everybody against you, bro. Shit take a toll on you. And then it's like peer pressure. Everybody is trying to insert their ideas on you. And you got to stay strong. Am I saying what you're doing is right or what you're doing is wrong? It may be right. It may be wrong. But, you know, peer pressure, you shouldn't let it control you. When, once you have to be by yourself, you know, you got to, you know, realize peer pressure is nothing but peer pressure, dog. Be yourself, man. Work on yourself, dog. Because this world out here is trying to make everybody just alike. So you got to be yourself, dog. And you do that by asking yourself who you are. Aside from all the shit you've accomplished, who are you? You know what I'm saying? Because that's the shit you really got to figure out. Who are you? What do you like doing? Seamer attention just pushing me on that path. That's all it is to me. It's pushing me on that path. Because I realized I was ejaculating too much. I was I was ejaculating not with my, my girl, not like with porn, but I was ejaculating. Whether it's the porn or sex or head, it doesn't matter. You have to realize you'll see this sacred energy, dog. A lot of y'all already know that. 
lot of y'all know that you can't just ejaculate anytime you want to. Because I read one quote that changed the way I've been looking at life for the past week. I want all y'all to listen up. Listen real closely to what I'm about to say. I'm probably going to say the most important thing you heard on YouTube today. And it's simply this. Heard it from an NBA player on an interview. He was like, People not being successful because they chasing after what they want right now instead of what they want most. Stop chasing what you want right now and chase what you want most. If what you want most is a million dollars, but what you want right now is a $5 ice cream, a lot of people fold to the $5 ice cream. They can't see the vision. The vision of what you want most, you have to act according to it. But see, you always going to have your desires in the present moment. But what do you want most? Like, that's something I've been thinking about often because, you know, you have these opportunities in life when you when you on seam retention, when you live in life to the fullest, you have all these opportunities that pop up. And you can choose to do something that you want right now or you can choose to do something that would help get to what you want most. Not saying that this is going to fulfill your life. But you need to work on yourself. That's one thing I do know. Work on yourself and let shit flow. I've been in school around a thousand Thousands of people, bro. Thousands, thousands. And one thing I'm realizing, when you can pop, when you have an abundance mentality, you you learn to let shit go. You get in the flow. I'm gonna say that again. You have abundance mentality, and you're able to let shit go. There are other opportunities, and what's in the past is in the past. You get in this flow. Life just comes to you. Instead of you going out and getting things, you're attracting things to you. You're attracting things. I believe you could live your whole life like this. You working on yourself. You know what I'm saying? You understand abundance mentality. Abundance mentality and you just let go of the past. You know, you're going to flow through life. Hope y'all learned something, man. If y'all like the video, like the video, comment, and subscribe, though. I love y'all, boys. Peace.